recently held my very own Halo Infinite free for all tournament and it turned out to be quite a lot of fun. The turnout was much better than I expected so I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that tuned in. We peaked at like over 50 something viewers which was way better than I could have ever expected. We had a lot of players and a lot of them played amazingly and a couple of people even made their own videos talking about the tournaments and showing some parts off whether that be because they were supporting the friend or rather just going over their own experience in the tournament and this was also really nice to see. Anyway, today's video is just a little highlight reel I've put together of the event to celebrate the people that participated in the tournament, to celebrate the winners, and to just show the whole thing off. This is something I'd definitely love to do again in future, I don't know when, but the next time we do a tournament, it will probably be a Teams one, so keep an eye out. But anyway, without wasting any more of your time, let's jump straight in. We've got Onside, we've got Exceptic, we've got Salty, we've got Sakurada, we've got Always Salty, we've got GXL, we've got Sadi, and we have X. A lot of people rooting for Sakurada. I feel like the game's okay. I was about to game crash there, and we're in. We're in. We're we're, 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 we're watching GXL right now. He managed to kill Sadi there. Oh, but but he got he got finished off. He got finished off. X is down. Salty's down. Salty's is uh, Salty's is Salty's is gaming. However, he's just fell off the map. That's quite unfortunate. Sadi just took down Onside. How's Saku doing? Oh, oh, Saku managed to get Sadi. Check it, channel your in HCS commentator. Uh, Sakurad is, uh, he's, he's making use of that Bulldog. He's making use of that Bulldog. Couple of misfires there, but him and X managed to trade. Sadi's got the overshield. This, this could be, this could be a game changer. This could be a game changer. Right now, GXL is in first place with three kills. It's heating up. It's really heating up. Oh, he's got two people on him there. That was quite unfortunate. That felt like a little bit of teaming there. That felt like a little bit of teaming. <laughs> GXL's down. Oh, Exceptic's caught up though. They're both on four kills. X is technically in first place now. In fact, Sakurad is also on... Oh, Sakurad is on four. X is on five kills now. This is looking... This is going to be a close match. This is going to be a close match. I can tell. I can tell this is going to be... This is going to be intense. GXL's down. Long side with the commando. Will he finish Saltais off here? Oh, he managed to get him. That, that nice switch to the AR. I feel like it, it's definitely a bit more interesting seeing the AR used in a bit more of a competitive setting. Uh, because the AR is much more of a casual tool. It's much more of a casual weapon. But but things seem to be going pretty well. Everyone's everyone's holding out. For, uh, like, you know, everyone's playing well. Sakurado's on eight kills. Oh, Ogside and uh, X trading there. That, that's interesting. That's interesting. Ongside, oh, Ongside's drawing with Saku now though. Saku's got the, the, the Bulldog again. Oh, will X uh, take off? Oh, Salty's with a kill there. Oh, Salty took down Exceptic. Nice, uh, nice sweep with the sidekick there. I, I respect what X tried to do with the Shroud screen. Oh, he used the Shroud screen to his advantage though. That was well played. Well done, GX. Everyone I, I switched to is just dead. This, <laughs> this is <laughs> this is insane. Sakurad is at top with 11 kills. Always Salty's on 7. Exceptic's on 7. GXL's on 8. X is on 9. Onside's on 10. Things are really heating up. Sadie's on six. This is, I mean, really, this is genuinely anyone's game. I know Sakurad has got a nice little lead right now, but anyone can overtake that at any moment. It's really just about, like, the power weapon play, the power, uh, like, utilizing that overshield and the bulldog and whatever power weapon spawn in. I mean, the overshield's coming in. It's got it's got 13 seconds left. I feel like whoever, whoever gets that can at least get one or two kills from it. Realistically, everyone else, I would recommend trying to keep it out of Sakurada's hands, considering he has got a nice firm lead right now. Sakurada is down, which mean he, means he isn't there for the overshield. In fact, someone has got the overshield. Although it is probably down now. No, okay. Okay, Salty's got the overshield. He still has it. He's still got a little bit left. However, time is running low on that overshield. But he has already caught up to Sakurada. Now on 13 kills, that overshield definitely helped him out in that little fight there. But now he's fighting Sakurada. Uh, but Sakurada's turning around to face off against someone else. And Salty takes the kill. Sakurada and Salty both on 15 kills, though. This is close between the two of them. 
Uh, Septic on 14, he is just a kill behind. However, Sakurada does take him down, and Sakurada now once again takes the lead at 18 kills. But I don't know if we're looking at that leaderboard, Sakura is still on 18 kills. He hasn't managed to take anyone down in quite a little bit of time now. Salty is catching up, he's on 17, he is just behind him. Sakura has now gone up to 19 though. This is neck and neck between the two of them. It's genuinely a very, very close game. Remember the top three qualify for round two. The bandit is pretty satisfying, but it doesn't seem to be a very popular weapon. Acceptic also on 19 kills. Sakurada is on 20 now, though. It's getting close. Sakurada's close to that win. He's getting very close to finishing things off. Always salty on 17. Acceptic on 21. Acceptic has taken the lead. He's ahead of Sakurada right now. Obviously, you don't need to finish first. You just need to finish with the top three if you want to qualify. However, you do get the bragging rights. You do get the bragging rights. He literally just needs two more. And I saw he had the Needler there. The Needler is a very, very useful tool in this game. Very dangerous at close quarters. And live fire is it's all about close quarters. And that's it. Game over. Sakurada first place with 25 kills and 16 deaths. Well done, Saku. We're about to find out which three players have qualified for round two, and then we'll be right back with bracket two. We've got Halo Box Studios, we've got Road Dog here, we've got Taco Smoothie, we've got Magpie Jack, Hidden Onyx. Uh, I, I should have gone through them in order, shouldn't I? We've got Halo Box Studios, we've got Magpie Jack, we've got Hidden Onyx, we've got Taco Smoothie, we've got Agent 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We've got Road Dog 2424, four. we've got UNSC Spawn 220, and Okar 99. Definitely, definitely going to be an exciting bracket. Uh, and let's let's see how this goes. But anyway, we're in. We're spectating UNSC spawn right now. Someone's, I believe, just picked up the. Oh no, never mind. Whoever got the active camo was taken out by Hidden Onyx. It appears. Spawns, spawn has. Tr uh, oh, that was an assist actually. Someone managed to get that kill. Halo Box is at first right now, I believe. Oh no, <laughs> never mind. Hidden Onyx is at first with four kills already. That is crazy. And he has got the active camo because no one else took the opportunity to pick that up. Um, so Halo Box might be able to catch up a little bit here, but Hidden Onyx is definitely slaughtering right now. Halo Box making use of that active camo. That should have been a back smack. That was a little weird. But he, he got the assist there, and then he managed to take down Road Dog. How's Taz holding up? Taz is on three kills. Hidden Onyx is on five. Taz didn't see Halo Box right there with the active camo. I believe the active cam has probably run its course now, but he made good use of that. Hypnotics right now at seven kills. He's absolutely stomping this lobby. He definitely come in prepared. Very, very curious about that repulsor play there, but he seemed to survive the encounter. So, so I'm not going to judge. I'm not going to judge. Oh, the gravity hammer has spawned in. Is anyone going to go for that? There's a couple people here. Hypnotics managed to, to, to sweep them up in the end. Oh, Taz has been repulsed off the map by Onyx. He knows what he's doing. He knows. Stoics at five kills right now. Magpie Jack's at three. Road Dog's on two. Will anyone be able to catch up to Onyx right now? Because he has such an insane lead. Oh, they managed to get that cam out. Ah, uh, Jack on assist there. Looks like he... Oh, he got taken out from behind by Agent T. How's Taz holding up? Oh. He's in a council road dog, I believe. No one's gone for that gravity hammer, which I find very interesting. Because in a, in a situation like this, I feel like that's just going to be free kills. And I see spawn trading with Okar 99. It was a very intense this fight. Taz has gone for the hammer, however, he has been taken down. I guess someone was probably waiting for that. Nice grenade play there from Jack. A little bit of grenade spam. Onyx almost stole the kill. He had that hammer, but to be fair, he did manage to take Jack and someone else out afterwards. Actually, I think Road Dog took out the other guy. Onyx taking out Road Dog, though, and was then... Oh, wait, that's Taz. Sorry, my bad. I am silly. Taz has got the Needler. That could be a very useful tool right now. Oh, however, being caught against two people like that definitely didn't benefit him. Road Dog now has the hammer, though. Will he, will he use it well, though? He manages to get a kill there on Agent T. Ooh, however, Halo Box does take him out. Will he pick up the gravity hammer? Yes, he will. Taz taking down Hidden Onyx too. 
Midnight is ahead with 16 kills. Jack's doing okay with 8. 9 now. He managed to take out Taz there. Taz also has 9. Road Dog's on 8. UNSC spawn on 11. Halo Box is on 14. He is catching up to Onyx. However, Onyx is still absolutely destroying everyone. He is taking no prisoners. However, that was a... Well, okay, I thought it was a backspack. Never mind, it does. It has counted as a normal melee. Hinox on 21 kills. He only needs four more to win. Stoic is closely behind with 18, though. He only needs three more to catch up. But Onyx did take him down himself there. Onyx only needs two more kills. One more kill for Onyx. And that will be it. It'll be over if he gets this last kill now. And he's got the hammer too. So it's probably going to happen. Someone walks straight into it. Onyx takes the cake with relative ease. Ending that match on 25 kills and 9 deaths. Onyx took no prisoners that game. That was insane. We have we have Blitzkrake. We have Alpha Gamer 2. We have Elite Cobra. We have Whale. We have Nold Retry. We have Gaddy 117. Vol Rogue. And King Nathaniel X. Another pretty stacked lobby here. I'll, uh, I'll let them know to start. We're on streets this time. So another different map. A very a very competitive map. A very sweaty map. So we will see how this goes. Okay, we're starting off spectating Vol Rogue. Someone's gone straight for the spanker. Vol Rogue didn't take the shot. Maybe that was to try and survive a little bit longer. However, has he been noticed? No, whoever's got the rocket launcher hasn't. There's no one fighting each other? I'm so confused. Why is everyone just watching each other? Um, I don't think this is how this is supposed to go. Oh, but Vol Rogue betraying them both, taking the double kill and stealing the rocket launcher. What a treacherous move. Ganny117 taking a kill on uh, on Alpha Gamer 2. Ganny is down. Rogue is also down. Elite Cobra's down. Nold Retry is about to be down again. That's quite unfortunate. Cobra's back. That assault rifle looks pretty nice, by the way. Is it a fight here? Oh, he trades with Ganny. Daniel's on one, using the Pulse Carbine, but managing to take down Whale. Blitzkrieg on five kills, taking the lead now. Null trading with Nathaniel. Whale's on four kills, he's catching up, he's catching up to that top spot. He takes down Vault Rogue. Sergeant Abel with a five dollar donation, thank you so much. Compost grid, that would be, that would be torturous. Ooh, Whale's on six kills now. He's very close behind Blitz. Ganny with a shock rifle. Is anyone going to go for that rocket launcher, though? Is Ganny going to wait up here and try to snipe anyone? I mean, he's in a little bit of a gunfight. He takes out Whale with a shock rifle. Someone's taking the rocket launcher and takes him out, though. He was a little distracted by Whale there, and he ends up getting taken down by the launcher. I don't know if anyone currently still has the launcher, though. Whale takes down Kahura. Blitzkrieg on 14 kills now. It's absolutely stomping this lobby right now. Takes down, uh, he takes down two. But then gets taken down himself by Vol Rogue. Most people are just using this little rap, which, again, is pretty unsurprising. Probably your best bet, and that will decide, Kev. They're definitely going to be your best friends through most of this match. But Ganny's making nice use of that shock rifle, which is nice to see. Oh, he takes a shot. Oh, okay, he gets the chain reaction. Through. Again, a, no a nice triple kill from Ganny there. He's making amazing use of that shock rifle. He's absolutely tearing people up with it. Oh, but he gets taken down from behind there by Toon. With a cheeky little back smack. Toon does get taken down though. Let's creep with a battle rifle. He knows what he's doing. He knows where to go. He takes down Nathaniel. He is quite low now though. Will he get finished off? That is the question. He's shielding up, he's shielding up. He knows where his opponent is. However, he is sandwiched here. Oh, one of them's down though. He manages to survive again and take down Rogue. Rogue is currently on 12 kills too. He takes down Null. Oh, but he is down himself. Bloodscrake is very close to winning right now. Fall Rogue on 13 kills. Elite Cobra on 10. Null on 6. Whale on 11. Nathaniel on 9, that, is, that was amazing. I love how, how he was up against the wall like that. That was really funny. Blitz with the rocket launch. This could end the game right here. If he manages to land all four shots, this will end the match. He doesn't get the kill with that one there, though. But he does with that shot. He 
does with that one too. Will he pull off the final shot with the launcher? Will he make full use of it? And he does get taken down, but he is one kill away from winning the match. This has been way quicker than I expected. Oh. And that's it. Game over. What an intense match. What an intense match. Blitzkrieg taking that with ease. Uh, but again, we've got another pretty interesting lobby here. We've got Green Ninja. We've got LJHS. We've got Omnic Duck. We've got the Big Craig. We've got B-Man. We've got JT. We've got Dragon Icy. And we've got Striker Prime. We're on Argyle for this fourth match. This is the first Forge map. And might actually be the only Forge map in the bracket. However, I thought it was a pretty suitable map for what we've got going on here. Oh, someone fall off the map there? Oh no, he managed to get around. Dragon Ice is taking down Green Ninja, but then getting taken down himself by LJHS. Currently, right now, Craig is first with two kills. He wants to get on someone with a sniper there. Ooh, that's quite unlucky. That's quite unlucky. Omnic's currently got a kill. He's getting shot on the back. Will he come out and tap this? Nice play with the grenades, but he just about misses the melee. He misses it again. That was really unfortunate. Dragon Icy with the sniper. Why does the red skull look so big? We've got two people with sniper rifles right now. He hits the shots. He manages to take down B-Man with a sniper. A lovely Epsilon went to go to, by the way. LGHS ahead with three kills. Craig is drawing with him right now, also on three. Spoopy's just behind with two. This definitely seems to be a much slower pace match. It, it, it could be anyone's game right now. There's no clear leader yet, like there has been with the last couple of matches. Ooh, nice double kill from LJHS there. Dragon Icy caught up with four kills though. Now on five, so we have quite a few people that are, they're all doing pretty well. Dragon with oh with a triple kill. Now on seven kills with an overkill from Dragon Icy. I thought he could have he could have got he could have got five there, but unfortunately he just got missed that. Is he gonna take Omni out? Oh, he takes down Spoopy. He takes down Spoopy. There is some plays there to his left. He switches out to the Bandit, which is a pretty interesting choice. That Sniper is close to respawn. He takes down Striker. He's got nine kills. That Sniper is back, though. He gets the assist there. Oh, but he does get taken down himself. LGHS on seven kills, too. Green Angel with the Sniper Rifle. He's got that face coating. It's definitely an interesting one. He's got his own emblem. Will he mean that he can pull this off, though? Ooh, he doesn't take the shot. He takes that way too late and unfortunately misses the shot. That is quite unfortunate. Omni with the with the active camo. This could give him a nice little edge here over the competition. He gets that nice little back smack there on Dragon Icy. Someone has spotted him, but he isn't camo again. Will they be able to keep track of his position? Dragon Icy on 11 kills. Oh, he takes down Green Ninja. He gets two kills on that active camo. That definitely benefits him. However, he does get taken down there. Striker with the sniper right now. LJHS with the commando. He takes down Striker. Is he going to get the double? Yes, he gets the double. He takes down JT too. Dragon Ice with the battle rifle kill. He's on 13 kills right now. LGHS is also on 13. They have taken a nice lead above everyone else. Striker with the grapple bag smack. Very nice. Only on seven right now. He gets the assist. Someone does manage to just take his kill. Will he be able to regen his shield though? Oh, unfortunately he doesn't get time to strike. It takes him down. LJ's down. JT's down. Dragon Icy with a bulldog. Takes down Striker. 15 to 15 for Dragon Icy and LGHS. These two are absolutely dominating right now. I know earlier on I said there wasn't a clear leader, but there's starting to be one. There's starting to be two for, for, for that matter. Kills. He's picked up the Bulldog. Dragon Ice, he just beat him. They're just ahead with 17. Now they're both drawing with 17. He takes down Striker. I do like Grubs the Lithium so. Um, Again, lovely Epsilon Winter Coating. I'm not going to buy it, but it looks gorgeous. <laughs> Omicron 12 right now. He's definitely secure himself that, that uh, third place spot. However, Green Ninja with that double kill with the Sniper. Oh, and he lands another shot there. He's slaughtering with that. Takes down Dragon. 
Oh, okay, okay, he gets the double kill. He takes down both of the top players in the lobby. Catches up, he has now got 16 kills. Oh, he does get taken down by JT, who made nice use of that over that uh, active camo, though. Dragon Axe on 19. Green Link on 16. Now on 17 kills. LGH has on 18, too. This is really heating up. JT did just appear there with the active camo. But another double kill from Dragon Icy this time. Oh, is he about to take? He's about to take down Omnic. Omnic manages to scurry away, but will it last? Oh, Omnic does survive. He does survive. He doesn't get the kill, but he did survive. LJ did take Omnic down though. However, it wasn't quite enough to get in the lead. Green Ninja is just one kill behind that top spot. He falls down. Someone has spawned at the bottom of the map, it appears. Um, that... That's quite unfortunate. <laughs> I don't really feel like that should be happening. <laughs> that falling spot was great. Dragon Icing LJ. 24 and 23 kills. Dragon Icing needs one more kill to win. Will he finish with that top spot? Or will LJ or someone else manage to take it off him? Is he about to get a kill here? If he does, if he does, that's it. Game over. He does get taken down. Which gives the others time to catch up. Green Ninja on 21. LJ on 23. Neither of them managed to take that opportunity. And Dragon Icy takes the first place spot in bracket 4. So obviously, we're about to start bracket two. Things are heating up. We've got some really good players here. This is going to be the winners from bracket one and bracket three. So there, there are some really good players here. We've got some of the best in this lobby. Uh, the other players, so the players from bracket two and four will be facing off in the next match. This round is Vampire Ball instead of Slayer. Mixing up, we've got an objective mode. To keep it casual, I chose Vampire Ball specifically instead of Oddball, as you don't feel completely defenseless when you have the ball. Hopefully, it's going to be pretty intense, but we'll get straight into it. Oh, it's salty. He's taken down straight away by Vol Rogue. But again, it's not about who gets the kills, it's about who gets the ball. And Blitz, Blitz has it right now, and he gets that melee. He gets that nice little bit of overshield. However, he is really low on health. Apparently, although it's still showing he has overshield, so I'm really not sure if that's just a UI glitch. I don't think mine has displayed his health properly, but now he is down. He's taken down by always Salty. Salty gets the ball. He gets it for a little bit now. Will he catch up score-wise to Blitzkrieg? 12 points. He's, he's catching up. He's catching up. No one seems to be going for him. He's gained those nice little points for the ball control. No one seems to be hunting him down, which I find very bizarre. Oh, someone is here now, though. Someone is here now. They realize it's an objective mode. And he is being hunted. He gets taken down by Exceptic. Will he get the ball, though? Luke Blitz manages to get the ball again. Takes down Exceptic. Gets a little bit of health from it, but does get taken down by Sakurada, who finally gets his hands on the ball. Salty with the ball again. This is seeming like it's going to be very close. Now, remember, the top two players from this round qualify for the finale. You only need to be one of the top two. You don't need the most kills. You just need to, to get your grubby little fingers on the ball for the longest. Right now, Salty is in the lead with 41 points. Who has the ball right now, though? I actually can't tell. But it's currently Ganny. It's currently Ganny. He, he might, they might have the chance to catch up here. Saku Squad's staying strong, but he just doesn't seem to want to play the objective. <laughs> He does get the overshield though, which could give him a huge advantage. Ball carry is hiding that room. Realistically, he could. He, okay, okay, he takes him. They both get taken down. He let Bloodstream deal with him with that rocket launcher, and then he gets his hands on the ball with relative ease. Very smart play there. I don't know whether it was intentional or not, but it worked out very well. Volro currently has it, and he is catching up in points quickly. He's almost over. Gonna, he's almost about to take overtake Salty. Will he do it? Sakurada is on his tail right now. Vol does overtake Salty. Will he take over Blitz, though? Will Vol Rogue take the lead? He's about to. If no one takes him down, now. And Vol Rogue has taken the lead. He is now on 50 points. He is now on 53 points. He's on 54. Will Sakurada take him out? He is hiding in that room. He's making use of that ball. 
He's on 62.63. He's catching up really quickly here. No one seems to be taking him down. People are too busy killing each other when they should be focused on taking down that ball carrier. Because Vol is making good use of it. He is finally taken down. Except he takes down Gani. Will he take the ball himself, though? He seems to be more worried about whoever's coming in the room than grabbing the ball. Which makes sense. You're not going to want that straight away. But he does get the reversal there. Takes him straight down. And X starts to gather, gather some points. But he does get taken down by Gani. Sakurada currently has the rocket launcher, as far as I'm aware. His health is low, though. He needs to get up to that ball carry and take them down, but it looks like he's going to be taken down himself by Blitzkrieg. Blitz does get the ball once again, though, and he has the chance here to overtake and take the lead once more. Takes down x -Ethic. He's got a couple people coming behind. He is down. He's on 66 points. Danny's currently got the ball again, 35, he is generating some of those points. <laughs> Saku's still currently bottom with only 4 seconds of time with the oddball. He just doesn't seem to be able to get it. Saku's great at slaying, but he just doesn't seem to manage to get that ball. Does make use of the thrust here, there is someone up there though, he needs to be very careful how he approaches this if he wants to get it. He takes on the ball carry, he takes on the other person in there, will he get the ball? Realistically, he needs to hope he doesn't get exploded here, but he finally gets the ball, he gets a reversal, he gets a triple kill! But he made the mistake of exiting the room, which is unfortunately his downfall. He probably would have been better off staying in there just a little bit longer. But he has, he has got a few points now, he's still bottom, but he, he's, he's got an extra 10 points now. He's not out of it yet, but Blitz is currently on 80 points, and if no one takes him down quick enough, he is just to the left there. Volro doesn't seem to want to go in, but he probably knows that he just needs to secure that second spot now. He probably doesn't care about taking the ball himself. In fact, it looks like he's actually ignoring Blitz because he just knows that Blitz, if Blitz survives, if no one else gets the ball, he comes second place, and that's it. The match is over with Blitz and Volro qualifying. That was a really intense match. Okay, we're back. We, we just had to wait a little bit longer on Dragon Icy to join the game, but everyone is here now for the second game of round two. Second bracket, we've got Halo Box Studios, we've got Green Ninja, we've got Hidden Onyx, we've got LJHS, we've got Taco Smoothie, we've got Dragon Icy. Another very intense bracket. It's once again Vampire Rod Ball, and again, the top two from this qualify for the finals. Well, let's go. Who's going to come out on top here? Who is going to come out on top? Some of these players have played really well. Some of the stuff that LJHS, Green Ninja, and Dragon Icy, specifically what they were doing, Onyx also stomped his lobby. But Taz and Halo Box just need to play the objective. They don't need to get the most kills. It's all about who can control that ball. Dragon Icy unfortunately hits himself with a grenade right at the beginning of the match. Green Ninja's on quite low health. Who has the ball though? Someone takes it. Green Ninja takes the active count out. Definitely the right call, because he can sneak up on the, the ball carrier, although the ball carrier is down. Dragon Icy is about to take, take down here, Nautic, and still manages to get the ball, but is taken down very quickly by LJHS. It's like no one can manage to grab it just yet. This ball is going to everyone. Green Ninja, oh he misses the melee, but then manages to reverse it. He takes him down, but then is taken down himself. The ball is once again taken though by Dragon Icy. He's getting good control on it, he's getting good control on it. But he was taken down. Both Halo Box and Taz managed to, to get him like pinted in that room there. Halo Box does fall over though. He does get taken down. I believe that's LJ that has the ball right now. Oh no, Green Ninja, sorry. Green Ninja, but Hypnotics does take him down. Looks like Dragon Ice, he's gone straight for the ball though. He's currently leading with 12 points. Hidden going for the, the kill here on, on LJ rather than going for the ball carrier. Green Ninja takes down ta uh, Taz with the ball. Gets the ball himself. Can once again take the lead here if, if, he, if, he, if he manages to keep control of this ball, which he seems to be doing a fairly decent job. But unfortunately, it looks like he might be down. Never mind, LJ got way too close to com uh, for comfort, and Green Ninja punished him for it. He is taken down himself, though, by Dragon Icy, who 
Although, although he'd lost the lead, he very, very quickly gets it back. Now he gets the ball. Will he keep control of it? Those dynamo grenades, they are definitely not fun to go up against in this situation. Dragon Ice, it looks like, still has the ball. Onyx is trying his hardest to get in. He doesn't want to get too close because it obviously will be taken down instantly. Uses nice use of the thrust in. He almost tricks him. He almost takes Dragon Ice down, but Dragon Ice manages to keep the ball. Realistically, everyone just needs to come in here and bombard him with grenades. Although, to be fair, to be fair, Green Ninja does take him down on his own. Hides in the same spot that seems to be a favored corner right now by the whole lobby. Two grenades just doesn't seem to be enough to take anyone out. He needs to be coming in here with a few more than that. He is low, but he'll get... Oh, he got the melee off on Taz. Taz was very close to taking him down. Green Ninja is down himself, though. Stoic takes LJ down, but then gets taken down himself. This definitely just feels like the same cycle on repeat constantly. Someone hides in that corner. Someone comes in with grenades. Oh, okay. It looks like they know what they're doing. The plotting, the plotting here. Dragon Ice takes him down, but is then taken down himself. Seems like there was a plot there, and I guess it, it worked out. Using the plasma nades, definitely, definitely the right choice. I think I leave that area true, which is definitely what Stoic's doing. He's making sure that things stay a little bit interesting, getting the ball away from that corner. And although he has been punished for it, at the same time, hopefully this makes things a little bit more interesting going forward. Onyx straight away definitely tried to go for that corner, but was punished also for it. Dragon Ice once again on the ball though, heads to the room. Heading down the middle, heading down the, the lanes at the sides. Does get taken down himself though, Stoke once again gets the ball, keeps moving with it. Gets the melee off, oh almost gets the double kill. Gets sent flying apparently though. Taz currently has the ball. He's getting a nice, a nice, uh, a nice chunk of points here. Gets a few melees off. Gets a little bit of shielding. However, it looks like he's quite low. Drops the ball. Hoping to get away, but unfortunately he does not manage to make it. Dragon Icy has got a huge lead here with 84 points. He needs to be taken down now. Followed closely by Green Ninja with 52. I say closely. That's not closely, but... <laughs> on the ball. Hidden Onyx right now. He's generating some points. He's generating some points. High on the stairway. Gets taken down. Green Ninja needs to keep Dragon Icy away from that ball. Stoic sneaks in and steals the ball away though. Gets a little bit of overshield. He's making good play with this ball here. He does have the chance to still steal that second or first place spot and just keep everyone else away from it. However, this definitely is not the position you want to be in. That's a very easy place for you to throw grenades in. He does get it taken off him by Green Ninja. Which is almost down though. Was it Onyx? They have such set they're using the same codes and it gets so confusing between the two of them. Onyx does have the ball himself, it's taken down by Stoke with the disrupt it. Stoke gets the ball, takes down Taz! Building points on his building points, he takes down Dragon Icy, which means this game isn't ending anytime soon. He does get taken down though with the by, by Green Ninja with the active camo. Very intense gameplay here, very intense. So he's on the ball carry, he's got taken down. Oh, he's so low, he's so low. Can he go and finish him off? Harry is down. Dragon Ice took him down. Stoic keeps Icy away from the ball. He's up to 52 points. He's drawing Green Ninja now. He might just steal that second place spot. However, Green Ninja does get the ball. Even if it seems like it's for a brief period of time. Although he picks it back up. He's building up those points. He's back in that corner. They definitely want to keep the ball away from there. Or it's going to be very, very hard to get him out. He is taken down though. Stoic once again managed to take the ball, but he didn't quite hold on to it long enough. Onyx gets the ball, but gets taken out. Looks like it's back in Icy's hands. Will this be it? Will this be the final ball play? No, he gets taken down! Can Taz pull this back? He's on the ball carrier. The ball carrier's down, but Taz doesn't manage to grab it. 
Onyx on 40 points, now he's gaining some, he's gaining some. Definitely needs to be careful what he does here, though. Definitely very dangerous for Onyx to be able to take down Stoic. Looks like there's some fighting going on on the stairway. Personally, I wouldn't have recommended it. I wouldn't have recommended going for a ball carrier, but... They know what they're doing better than I do, apparently. There was no sarcasm involved, and I genuinely mean that. <laughs> That's why they're playing and not me, guys. Green Ninja with the ball, 78 points. He's securing that second place spot. Might even overtake Dragon Ice. He is down, though. Dragon Ice is about to get that ball. Will Taz take him out? He doesn't manage to. He doesn't manage to secure it. Dragon Ice, he takes down Hypnonix. And is this it? Is this the winning play? It looks like it is. And there you have it. Dragon Ice, he takes the lead. It was... That first half of that match, I'll be honest, the first half definitely wasn't the most exciting thing because everyone was just uh, just fighting in that corner, but things definitely got interesting once Stoic got his hands on the ball, but unfortunately didn't manage to qualify, and it looks like that next spot is going to Dragon Icy and Green Ninja. Straight and hills up top. Catalyst is definitely one of my favourite maps in this game. I do think it's one of the best arena maps. Volrog straight away going for that overshield. He manages to steal it. He uses the grapple shot to his advantage. Ooh. Ball's taking good score, my help. Checking his corners, he's checking his corners. Gets the hill taken off him though. Follows in a solid lead right now on that hill though. Doesn't currently have control over it, but he does have that lead. King of the Wings fighting. That's fair. And he's got the sword and the hammer, but that grenade swiftly takes him down. Is Fall going to take that hill back? Is he going to take that hill back? Ninja's down. Who's going to take this first hill? It could be anyone's right now. I mean, Vol definitely has that, that solid lead on it, but this could be anyone's. Green Ninja's got a solid amount of score on it. Blitz is about to catch it. Dragon Ice, he has the lowest on the hill. King of the Hill does not seem to be his strong suit. Oh, nice recovery with the grapple shot. Ooh, it's close. He almost had the hill there. He has left it, though. Will someone else take the hill? Will someone else take control? It's very close, though. Vol is very close to getting that first point. Green Ninja is about to take it though. Vol needs to get up there quick. Never mind. Green Ninja takes the hill. Vol is not quick enough. Loses the hill. Next hill is spawning in. Everyone is heading towards it as we speak. No one's using those fusion coils or anything, which is interesting. So most of the time they do feel like they're a free kill. Something like zone base mode, they are very useful. Someone's got this green ninja with the skewer. Will he make use of it though? Will he make use of it? That is the question. He is once again controlling the hill. He's about to take him down though. Doesn't quite manage to get the skewer shot. He is down for the count. Blitz in the hill. He's keeping good control, but his health is quite low. Nice play with the repulsor, but unfortunately didn't play off. Icy does take control. He is about to get taken down himself though. His health's low. And that grenade swiftly took him out. Ball's coming in with the bandit rifle. Definitely not something we see every day, but it worked. It worked. He took him out. He's about to get the hill back. Just needs to keep control of it. Uses the repulses to get the upper platform. Looks like someone's got overshield and a sword and they are on their way. Definitely someone you're gonna want to avoid. A range fight? Is it a range fight? Is he gonna take him out? Is he gonna come out and stop you with a bandit? 
A little bit of a misfire there. Heads back down to the hill, but Blitz is waiting with that sword. Looks like Blitz might get taken down himself. Oh, he's about to... Oh, oh, he's about to turn around. He's about to get him out. Oh, he messes up. He fumbles. Agonize. Good control of this hill right now. Blitz is very close, though. There will definitely be a next time. Next one will probably be teams instead. So people are definitely going to want to, to get some teams ready for whenever we do the next tournament. I don't know when that will be. I guess it depends how badly people want it. Blitz with the perfect kill with the bandit, though. Very nice. Very well done. He almost repulses him off the map. He almost, but he still manages to take him out with the bandit anyway. That would have been hilarious. Fall currently in a fight with a battle, battle rifle. He has no one help though. Well, those grenades take him out. Looks like he's just about to survive this encounter. However, he is on fire from behind too. Looks like he has nowhere to go. They've almost got him. He's being hunted. He manages to recover his shields. He could turn this around now. The team one won't be happening yet though, Taz. Don't, you don't need to worry just yet about making a team. Fall takes control of the hill. Only temporary though before he does have to retreat. He's taking some gunshots from a distance. Green Ninja hops into the hill. Right now we've got Blitz and Green Ninja with a point. The Green Ninja can take this on the hill point. This will definitely be very useful for him. And it looks like he's very close. He might just get it. Objective nearing completion. He takes the hill again. Green Ninja on two points, and the hill spawns right below where it was just two. He must get taken out with that grenade, though. Will anyone else be able to get a hill, or is Green Ninja going to finish the match off? Can Follow Dragon want to get a point if they want to if they want to finish in the top three spot and win some, win some sweet, sweet credits before Season 4? They need to make sure they can take control of this hill. a little bit controlled. Ball goes back in. Ball's been doing a great job of keeping control of these hills and just hasn't been able to finish it off. He's like, doing okay though. He grapples away though. He grapples away. First sign of danger. It doesn't look like he benefited him because he ran into Dragon Icy on his way off. But with, the, with the heat wave, manages to get a melee kill on Green Ninja. He's getting some points on the hill now. But it does look like it's being contested by Dragon Icy. He's here. He's returned. He does take Blitz down too. Wait now. Ooh, but Vault takes him down. Vault gets taken down himself, though, by Green Ninja. It's looking like it could be Green Ninja's game here. Vault is so close to capturing the hill himself, but it looks like Green Ninja might take the crown here. Green gets the, gets the overshield. This, this could be it. This could be it. This could be how he wins. If the others don't do something about this, they're in deep trouble. He does get taken down. It looks like all three managed to take him out there. Vol needs to get this hill. Someone just subscribed again. Thank you. Vol is so close to taking this hill. He just needs to get in. He just needs to get past Dragon Icy. And he could get he could secure the point here. He is low though. One of the others might show up and, and get him with an ape. He takes it though. He takes the point. Dragon Icy needs to do something quick to catch up or it is over. And with the time he takes to capture hill, it, it, it might be it. That might be it. Look at the kill counts on these guys too. Blitz has absolutely stomped the bottle. Hasn't been too far behind. He's only had eight deaths too. I thought he was about to fall off the map there. I thought he was about to fall off. Misses the kill with the sword. Gets taken down himself. Fall rogue in the hill. Will this push it to overtime? I actually have no idea. Ooh, he's low. He's low. He gets taken down. He gets taken down by Blitz with a nade. Green 
him to take splits down though. If he keeps control of this hill, that I mean, it, he's winning anyway. But this could be it. And also doubles. That is actually a really good idea. It says actually really good idea. just doubles. I need to do many more rounds. Unless I blow the play count, but we'll see. And that's it. And that's it. We have our winners. We have our winners. The crown goes to Green Ninja. He has won first place. Second place, obviously both of them had one point on the hill. However, it's very clear that one of them got way more kills and a much higher score. So second place does in fact go to Blitz. And third does go to Volrogue. Dragon Icy, although he made it to the finals, just couldn't quite catch up. He just couldn't quite catch one of those hills. But he still played really well. And that was a really, really good match. But anyway, that that wraps up the tournament. That was that was intense. That was one of the most intense things I've experienced in this game. And I wasn't even the one playing. It felt so weird to commentate over the matches. And I know I could have I, I can definitely I can definitely do better. Definitely do better. There's a few moments where I stayed a bit quiet. Uh, but again, I am new to this. But for the first tournament that I've ran, that went really well. We had so many people here watching, supporting their favourite players on, and that is something that is so nice to see. And we'll, we'll definitely do this again in the future. I don't know whether or not we'll do teams or doubles or we'll do another free for all one. We'll definitely do another one in the future. If any of you have any ideas, let me know. Comment on the stream or the highlight video when that goes up. Um, which some of you might be hearing this through the highlight video. But seriously, thank you all so much. It's so crazy to be able to run something like this. This is something that I never thought I'd be able to do. So I really, really do appreciate it. You're all absolutely amazing. We are going to end that there. Thank you all so much. I'll catch you all in the next one.